You have an Xbox Series X or S and you have an issue or you have a black screen. I'm going to give you an easy possible fix that you can do before you even try to do a factory reset. Now this Xbox is currently fixed, but we're going to pretend we have a black screen while it is on. The first thing that we're going to do is if your Xbox is on, we're going to turn it off, okay? doesn't matter if you have the S or the X, just hold the Xbox button, press and hold, and just keep holding it until the light stops blinking, okay? You see it's still blinking, okay? It's off now. So the Xbox is totally off. TV, leave your TV on, okay? Now the next thing you wanna do is, I mean, with the TV on and the Xbox off, what you wanna to go to your power source, and what you wanna do is unplug both from the wall socket. Leave the TV on, just go ahead and pull the plug, okay? So they're both unplugged now. Now while the TV and the Xbox is totally unplugged, the next thing is you have the uh, Xbox button on your um, Xbox. Press and just hold it. Keep holding it for like 30 seconds, okay? We're gonna do a discharge here. So hold it for 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, go ahead and let go. And now you wanna plug back in your TV and Xbox. Now the thing is, if you use some kind of surge protector or anything like that, try a wall outlet, because this could be faulty as well. Anyway, plug them both into the wall outlet. Once it's plugged back in, go ahead and turn your Xbox on, as well as your TV. And hopefully now you are back up and running. Now really quickly, if you still have a black screen, some easy possible fixes too. It could be your HDMI cable. You have another HDMI cable, give it a try. It could also be an HDMI port. What you wanna do is pull it out of your HDMI port, plug it into a different one, and then go ahead and check, make sure you go to the correct HDMI port on the TV, and then see if your screen turns on. Also, it's very possible that your Xbox Power cable is faulty, okay? You can buy these on like Amazon or eBay for like $8. In any event, I hope this works for you before you have to try to do a factory reset. If it worked for you, give me a like and please comment below.